So the main objective of this presentation is to give an idea about how we will work with the Ultimaker S3 3D printer. So this is our experiment number one dealing with Ultimaker S3. So first of all, what is the aim of this experiment? The objective of this experiment is to work with the 3D printing machines. There are there are different uh, 3D printing machines available, but in this experiment, we are dealing with the Ultimaker S3 3D printer, specifically the Ultimaker S3. Then we will prepare a scaled model of the provided part drawing. So, so we are not preparing the actual 3D printed model because it will take some time because because of the size so we will scale the model and then we will print the scaled model so that we can uh, save some time and we will get the exact shaped product uh, with the scaled dimensions what are the uh, equipments accessory software is required to to do this experiment the first one is we require uh, the printer here we are using the Ultimaker S3 and yeah. and then uh, we need CAD software. Okay, so the first step is to prepare the CAD model, the digital file preparation. So we need any CAD software, either SolidWorks or Fusion 360, any slicer software. Okay, once we will prepare the the CAD modeling, the next step is to slice the file with the layer thickness 0.2 millimeter. So, so that we, we will be using a software called Ultimaker Cura or there is another software called Idea Maker. Any software we can use, any slicer software we can use. But here we are using the Ultimaker S3 3D printer. I am using the Ultimaker Cura. To print the object, I am using the tough PLA material, polylactic acid, and the diameter of the filament is 2.85 millimeter. To give support to the uh, part, I am using the PVA material, polyvinyl alcohol, PVA natural, and also the diameter of the material, diameter of the filament is 2.85 millimeter. Once we will prepare our sliced file, the next step is to transfer the file into the 3D printer. So to transfer the file to the 3D printer machine, we will we are using Ultimaker Digital Factory or we can use a pen drive. We can copy the sliced file into a pen drive and you can, you can transfer the file, the sliced file to the machine through the pen drive option. Or we can directly upload our sliced file into Ultimaker Digital Factory application website and then through that website, we can start the printing process. Once we will we will finish the printing process, we can uh, remove the support structure with the help of post-processing tools, such as we can use some pliers or some scissors or some other equipments. With the help of th those post-processing tools, we can we can remove the support structure and we can we will get the final product. So the next session is is this about the about the machine we are uh, using. So we the the name of the machine we are uh, we are using to print the object is Ultimaker S3. So the Ultimaker S3 is a 3D printer that uses fused deposition modeling. So the the print this printer is using a different printers are using different technologies to print object here. This Ultimaker S3 is using a technology called a fused deposition modeling. And the build volume of this printer is 230 millimeter by 190 millimeter and 200 millimeter. So means we can print 23 centimeter length, 19 centimeter width and 20 centimeter height object we can print. That is the maximum dimension of the object we can print on this 3D printer. It is compatible with the filaments of uh, 2.85 mm diameter. So here we can use uh, the any type of material, but the only thing is that the filament diameter should be 2.85 millimeter, and the total weight of this machine is 14.4 kilogram. 
as i already mentioned this printer is using a technology called fused deposition modeling so this is a schematic representation of what's happening in fused deposition modeling so we have a spool of filament this spool of filament will enter into the extrusion head so the the the, the first section of the extrusion head the raw material is in the form of solid and once the material entered enters into the extrusion head this uh, here the temperature is very high okay and and because of this temperature this solid filament is converted into liquid form and through this printing nozzle the uh, the material coming out from the nozzle is in the form of liquid okay and that liquid is uh, is added into the glass plate this is the building plate this liquid material is added to the building plate layer by layer okay so that's why in this case in this way we will get the final product based on the uh, digital file we prepared so this is a this is an example here you can see different layers and uh, the top layer you can see the top layer is adding to the, uh, the this layer okay to the top of the this layer and this object this is our printed part and this is called a build platform and this is called a, the printing bed okay and this is our printing nozzle and this is our extrusion head this is the spool of filament okay so this is again another schematic uh, representation of uh, of fused deposition modeling so this is our filament 2.85 mm diameter plastic filament this will lend us into the motor the, so the motor will will drive this okay so so this this filament will enters into this this uh this molten chamber this extruder okay here the temperature is very high and this will be converted into from solid to the liquid form and from this nozzle from this nozzle tip you you will get the the liquid material and that is added to the base plate so that you will get the shape you will get the object like this okay so the we are using the thermoplastic material so thermoplastic material or thermo softening plastic is any plastic polymer material that becomes pliable or moldable at a certain elevated temperature and solidifies upon cooling okay so at certain temperature this becomes uh, this becomes uh, this becomes converted into from solid to liquid and upon the cooling process the liquid will be converted into solid okay so most thermoplastics have a high molecular weight so we are using thermoplastic material for the 3d printing process as i already mentioned it's a polymer material so what is uh, what is polymerization or polymer it's uh, any or uh, any of a class of natural or synthetic substances composed of very large molecules called uh, macromolecules which are multiples of simpler chemical units called uh, monomers polymers make up uh, many of the materials in living organisms under the basis of many minerals and man-made materials once you uh, switch on the 3d printer you can see a uh, a touch screen uh, in front of the uh, at the uh, in front of the 3d printer bottom side you can see so we, we 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 are controlling the printer with the help of this this touch screen okay so with this uh, like our mobile phone we are we are selecting different options so the same uh, same way we can we can we can selecting different options so when the 3d printer is switched on the screen displays a message indicating that it is ready to print the print we can send the the file with the help of cura software or with the help of digital factory or via a usb drive to start the printing process okay once you uh, once you uh, click the touch screen okay we can click uh, when we click the second option uh, a new window is displayed okay from the screen we can see ex uh, extruder one is using tough pla material with the uh, AA 0 0.4 core and the second extruder is using a different material pva material with the pb04 core okay at the uh, at the at the bottom of this screen you can see the glass so this represents the the glass plate where where we will print the object on the top of the glass plate okay so pla okay here you can see tough pla we are using so pla is called uh, it's a plastic 
So it is uh, PLA means polylactic acid. It's a plastic. Uh, it's also known as PLA. Polylactic acid is also known as PLA. It's a thermoplastic monomer derived from renewable organic sources such as corn starch or sugar cane. So this is renewable and uh, this is derived from organic sources such as corn starch or sugar cane. Using biomass resources makes PLA production different from most plastics which are produced using fossil fuels through the distillation and polymerization of petroleum. Then another material we are using is PVA that is called a polyvinyl alcohol. Okay, so here, here you can see this, this is my final uh, part and uh, this white colored structure is the support structure when the printing process. So once the printing is finished, uh, we have to remove the support structure. Okay, so the, the, the important point of this PVA, sorry. so we are using PVA as support structure, polyvinyl alcohol. It's a very soft and it's a biodegradable polymer. It's a very highly uh, sensitive to the moisture. So when, when exposed to water, this PVA will actually dissolve. That means all the white colored material will be removed, uh, which makes it very useful support structure material for 3D printing. It's only a support structure. We can easily remove the support structure from this, this final part. Then next is to load, unload or change the material. So as I already mentioned, there are two, two, two options on the screen. One is material one and the second one is material two. So material one is tough PLA. Okay, now the material one is tough PLA. When, when you press the tough PLA, it brings up a new screen where we can select options to either load, unload or change the material. Okay, if you want to unload the, the, the current material and you want to load a new material, you can first you, you can click this unload button. The machine will automatically unload the material and then we can load another material with the help of the load option. The, in, in the same way, we can we can load, unload or change the material to that is PVA uh, uh, as mentioned above. Then, uh, then as I already mentioned, we are using a glass glass uh, builder plate where the material is, uh, is uh, added into the glass builder plate and we, we, are, we are making the part on the top of the builder plate. When you press the glass option, a new screen is displayed with the builder plate options. Uh, here we can see the builder plate is made of glass and the current temperature is shown as 22 degrees Celsius. Now the printer is not working. Okay, so uh, printer uh, printer is not, uh, not start the printing process. So then now the temperature is showing as 22 degrees Celsius. If you want to change the settings or if you want to do some maintenance or if you if you want to connect this network to the digital factory, we can you can use these options such as settings, maintenance or network. If you want to change the settings or perform maintenance, press the settings option. You can then connect to the digital factory via the network to monitor the 3D printing process. In the uh, same, uh, we can change the language also. Okay. The default language is English. If you want to change the the, the language, uh, same as that of in our mobile phone. In our mobile phone, we, you know, we can change the language, right? Same way we can, in this 3D printer also, we can change the language. If required, you can change. And also we can change the brightness of the frame light. When the 3D printer is switched on, uh, the the frame light is also on. So we if, if we, if, uh, if you want to adjust the brightness of the frame light with the help of this settings, we can adjust the brightness of the frame light. And also we can change the uh, screen display. This is our touch screen. If you want to uh, maximize or minimize the screen brightness, so we can adjust with the help of this option. Okay, then the advanced settings, we can see flow sensor is on. So flow sensor means uh, the material is flowing, okay. So if the flow is correct or not, with the help of this sensor, uh, we can we can we can uh, make sure that with the help of this this flow sensor, we can make sure that the, the material is flowing and uh, uh, moving forward, backward, everything is correct. Then if you if you click the above 3D printer option, you can see the type. Okay, on the screen on the touch screen here, you can see Ultimaker S3 is our 3D printer. You can see. The Ultimaker S3 and the firmware version 
it is 8.3.1 firmware or means firmware means it is the the it's a, it's a program okay that is supporting the working of the 3d printer so the the version of that firmware is 8.3.1 uh, and hardware type id etc then about the print core 1 and uh, print core 2 it's a, it's a serial number the time material amount the maximum temperature everything we can we can see then there is a unique uh, printer id is also there with this unique printer id we can connect this to the digital factory so this one this image is uh, showing uh, uh, go to google and we can log in into the digital factory go to google and search ultimaker digital factory okay once you log in into the ultimaker digital factory uh, we can uh, we can log in into the ultimaker digital factory with the help of our email id and we can create a password so with the help of that id and password we can log in into the ultimaker digital factory once once we will log in into the ultimaker digital factory we can add the printer okay so now you can see uh, in my ultimaker digital factory site uh, only one one printer is added okay Ulti this is ultimaker s3 and there is a number you can see 233723 and here you can see extruder 1 is using tough PLA material and extruder 2 is using polyvinyl uh, alcohol is using. Okay. So um, if, if you have then if you have five printers, so you can you can add five printers here and you can monitor the printing process and everything with the help of this platform. Okay. So next is, uh, so that's all about the machine details. Then we will start with a small uh, object we are going to print. So this is our first object I'm going to print. This is a cylindrical block. Okay, so first you have to review all the dimensions uh, and you have to prepare the digital file with the help of any available CAD software. Create a 3D model of the object using the provided drawing in any available CAD software. Okay, so the length is 100 millimeter and this, this thickness is 12 millimeter and this is uh, this distance is 18 millimeter. There are there is a cylindrical object at the center of this uh, this part this part. The outer diameter of the cylinder is 50 millimeter and the inner diameter is 30 mm and the depth of the whole depth is 18 millimeter and the height of this cylindrical part is 50 millimeter. Okay, so like this, this is the 3D model like this you have to prepare the 3d model in in the cat software once your part modeling is completed once your part modeling is completed the next step is to convert this model into the stl format okay stl format is the format that is uh, supported by the slicer software okay the next step is to slice the file okay with the layer thickness of 0.2 millimeter so thus the slicer software or the slicer application is uh, is using the STL format. You can't use the the CAD file directly, so you have to con you have to convert this CAD file into the STL format. Then only we can use it in the slicer software. So, so STL format means uh, this is for example the, from this image it is very clear. This is uh, the outer red color is showing the the two circles. So this is actually a torus. Okay, uh, you know what is a torus okay so here this is the inner circle and this is the outer circle and that is our cat model that torus is our cat model then i will be converting this cat model into an stl model when i am converting this cat model into stl model what will happen is this will convert it into infinite number of triangles you can see when when i am converting the this cat model into stl model this is my the my is my stl file consisting of n number of triangles okay so this object consisting of n number of triangles. So this file is called a, this file is called a STL file. Okay, I will show you another example with the different resolutions. So this is the STL format of three different resolutions of human face. And here you can see this is less resolution and this is medium resolution and this is very high resolution. Okay, so then I will show you another example. Then it will be again clear. This is this is an STL format of a cube okay and one face consisting of two triangles so there are one there are there are four vertical faces and one one face at the top and one face at the bottom that means uh, that means there are six faces so one face two triangles there are 12 triangles okay on a on a small cube okay if you consider a very big object here you can see 
17,000 plus triangles, okay? So when the part is very much, when the part is complicated, the number of triangles also more. So STL is a file format commonly used for 3D printing and computer aided designing. The name STL is an acronym that stands for stereolithography, a popular 3D printing technology. We also heard about uh, STL as standard triangle language because the shape is like a triangle or standard tessellation language, all are same, okay? STL means stereolithography or standard triangle language or st standard tessellation language, all are same. Okay, so once your STL file is ready, once your STL file is ready, the next step is to open the STL file in the Ultimaker Cura software. What is Ultimaker Cura? Ultimaker Cura is an open source slicing application for 3D printers. It was created by David Brown, who was later employed by Ultimaker, a 3D printer manufacturing company to maintain the software. Once you are, once you are slicing it, or sorry, once your STL file is completed, you have to open that STL file in the Ultimaker Cura, okay? And once you open the Ultimaker, uh, one or your file in the Ultimaker Cura, you have to, uh, on the right bottom, you can see the slicing option. You just click the slicing option. Once you slice it, okay, you can see uh, it, this, this object will take two hours, three minutes to complete the printing process and it will take 43 gram of material and 5.46 meter of material, okay. So we are we are starting with a simple example. This is to understand the machine. This is to understand how how the, the technology is working, okay. So I am uh, I'm not using the actual dimension. I'm scaling the object, okay. Here with the help of scaling option, I can adjust the, the size of this uh, this object. So I will change the size, the, the scale to 25 percentage, not 100 percentage i'm using and and once i am changing this to 25 percentage and you can see the the printing time is changed to nine minutes okay this is a very small model okay scaled model okay uh, in the ultimate cura we can select the material so what material uh, we are using okay so first extruder we are using the great great of pla and the second one we are using the natural pv okay and here here i am uh, I am adjusting the layer height only. All other all other values I am using as the default values. I am not changing the the default values. I am changing the layer height as 0.2 millimeter. Okay, and then once I will I will slice uh, uh, everything. Then I will save the sliced file into the digital library. Okay, from the Ultimate Cura, go to click file, then save project. There are two options to disk and to digital library. To disk means you are saving uh, the sliced file into your computer. To digital file uh, library means you are saving it into the digital uh, library. Once you upload the file into the digital library, this is my digital factory web, uh, website. Okay, here you can see digital factory. Here in the tab check digitalfactory.ultimaker.com. This is my digital factory website. And once I am uploading the file into the digital library, I can see it in my the digital factory okay so this is my sliced file okay and here you can see the time time is nine minute okay this this object will take nine minutes to, to print the object and here you can see i'm using the black tough pla as the material and here this is the icon of the printer just click here so what happens is when you click here the the ultimate digital factory will send the file to the 3d printer and start the printing process it's very simple okay and uh, you can you can manage the printing process very easily okay once you uh, start the printing process then the machine will do everything there is, there is no manual interferences and finally you will get the finished product like this this is the scaled model 25 percentage scaled model okay so finally the the scaled 3d so this is our result the scaled 3d printed model of the cylindrical block was made using black tough PLA filament with a 2.85 mm diameter on the Ultimaker S3 FDM 3D printer as expected. All dimensions were measured and verified against the provided drawing. Once you will get, once you will get this, uh, this 3D printed object, you have to check all the dimensions with the help of vernier caliper. I will give you a digital vernier caliper. With the help of digital vernier caliper, you have to check what is the what is the outer diameter, what is the inner diameter, what is the depth of this hole, what is the uh, what is the thickness of the space, what about this portion? Everything you have to you have to measure and you have to enter the 
values here okay so as we know from the drawing we know what is the height of the cylindrical part it's 50 mm but here we are we are preparing the scaled part okay so you have to enter the value you have to uh, measure the uh, height of the cylindrical part with the help of a near caliper and you have to enter the value here outer diameter of the cylinder is 50 mm okay check uh, with the help of a near caliper and write the value here again the in, in the in the same way you have to measure the uh, hole diameter hole depth okay length of bottom base width of base thickness of base everything you have to you have to measure and you have to compare your scaled dimension with the given dimension that's it. so that's all about the working of uh, of uh, 3d ultimaker 3d printer thank you